Hello, my name is Jorge Hernandez. I am the product specialist at World It Pumps. And today we're going to show you how to remove the pilot sleeve assembly uh, and check for inspection. You know, once you have your liquid chambers and your diaphragms off, we're going to next remove the retaining rings from the pilot sleeve assembly. Remove one side and then you can push it through. If you're having troubles pushing the pilot spool assembly through, you can use a socket. This is a 916 socket to help you uh, push it through. So once we have it pushed through, we can take a look at our pilot sleeve assembly. Next, we're gonna move on to inspecting our uh, pilot sleeve assembly. Uh, this is a good one here. You can see there's a little bit of tension as we move the pilot's uh, spool side to side. There should be a little bit of tension. Okay. And you should want to make sure that you have your O-rings on each end. If you find that there is, um, there's no tension, right? should not be able to move it in either direction by a shake then that would mean that this there's either scoring happening on the inside of the sleeve or there are O-rings missing. Okay. So to inspect the pilot spool on the inside, we're gonna want to remove the O-ring that is opposite the dimple. Okay. So once we move the O-ring, we're gonna be able to slide it out. There should be a little bit of tension that you should feel for a good uh, pilot sleeve assembly. And what we want to do is we want to inspect our, our O-rings, so the outer one, your anti-double uh, shift uh, ring, and then your two in, your three inner rings. For the one that is a bad pilot sleeve, right, you may notice either missing rings or you'll notice scoring on the pilot spool or uh, heat marks on uh, the O-rings and the pilot spool. So once you inspected your pilot sleeve assembly, uh, put the O-ring back in and it should be ready to go. Stay tuned for the next Wilden episode. Thank you.